Please take a moment to pray for them, for their families, for the loved ones, for the people waiting for answers tonight. We stand with them, united in God and in prayer. Amen. Oh my God. It's already crazy. Thank you. Well, Florida, who is excited to see the 45th president of the United States? Oh, I'm to turn it down now. You can never get enough Trump, you know what I mean? Just ask the media. <laughs> but we do love this state, and we are all proud to call it our home. We have relocated here with our children, with our families, because you know what? Florida is Trump country! What did he win by, a quarter of a percent or something? This state, not because of the low taxes, it's pretty good though, right? But President Trump did that for the country as well. And not because of the weather, LOL. <laughs> it's a little bit rough today, but look at you guys. You're shiny and bright and new. I love it. Hmm. And not just because of the great educational options here. Like, they kept their schools open, right? Yeah. And not just because how freedom and liberty are protected. We love Florida because of all of you. Thank you, Florida. Thank you for always being there for President Trump and for this country. It was pretty sad. But please don't tell Texas. We don't want them to get their feelings hurt a little bit, right? Very slurry, yeah. But I am quite frankly certain that there is not a better place to celebrate 4th of July and America than the state of Florida. <laughs> it's starting to amplify. And that is because Florida knows what makes America great. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Here's the bummer part. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Somehow. Joe Biden is in the White House. Very strange hair I'm noticing. And old Joe is leading from behind with Kamala trying to push him down the stairs. And Joe's busy falling up the stairs. Oh man, people are being what banned left and right here. Wow. But I tell you, it just makes us miss President Trump even more. Well, with Joe Biden bumbling through his presidency, we have President Trump working harder and smarter every single day for the America First policies that... Biden's bumbling through his presidency with higher approval than Trump had on even one day. Uh, a successful vaccination program and record stock market numbers. He's just getting started. <laughs> These people keep trying to write the MAGA obituary. MAGA. Well, we just keep writing American history with President Trump. <laughs> What is she talking about? They want America to believe that the conservative movement is fractured, is divided. They want America to believe that this movement is dead. Well, we got a full gas. Of why does anybody know why she's speaking so slowly? Florida. Deal with it, liberals. Deal with it, Democrats. We are going to take back the house and rip the gavel from Nancy Pelosi's hands. We are going to crush it in the Senate and we will take back the White House. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you know they're silent screaming inside. Say, why won't those people just go away? I don't think so. Mm. It's pink slips to those liberals, to the Democrats, and for those that would try to step on the dreams of hard, freedom-working and loving Americans. The hard-working Americans that the rest of the country and the politicians left behind. But one man stood for each and every one of you and your family. President Trump, the most incredible president this country has ever seen. This is really humiliating. Yeah, this guy in the military uniform, huh? And it is a sea of patriots here today and the millions across this country who are not going to be silenced. And we definitely are not going to cede this fight to the socialists, to the communists, and to the liberals that want to destroy. It certainly won't be ceded to the communists or socialists since there's essentially none in any position of power. Line with us. The fight for liberty, the fight for our conservative values, and the fight for the heart and the soul of this nation will not be abandoned. President Trump will not let that happen, and either will you. All right. We can never give up on America. Don't do it. She's worth it. Each and every one of you are worth it, and your family and your children. We are going to continue to fight because we have someone that loves this family of Americans and will continue to fight for this country. Thank you for your service and dedication, President Trump. We will always stand with you. I have great news because the Republican Party uh -oh. is being reborn under the leadership of President Trump. It's born again in a sense. It's going to be it baptized. It is being reborn as the party of the working class. This is happening the on The party of America first. The party of President Trump and this big, beautiful movement that he created. Oh my God, do you guys see this guy's beard right here? I want to say goodbye to He's the radical. weak, need, spineless, and the coward politicians that have failed this country. People wondering who this is. This is Don Jr.'s girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks to President Trump, we have great leaders, great fighters like the governor of the great state of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Oof. Oof. Yikes. President Trump created a unified movement that is here to stay and is growing brighter and stronger every single day. We will chart a new path in American political history, a path driven by bold. I'm fascinated. The people I'm trying to figure out who who seems to be most out of their minds of the people standing behind her. It's, it's tough. A path where we don't bend the knee to the demands of the leftist mob and a path where we are willing to stand up and fight for what we hold dear with the help of God. From California to New York, <laughs> this we guy's will a fight top to take yeah. back this country. Yeah, people in the chat saying DeSantis is really a threat. He, he, he is. I've said before, DeSantis is someone with all the bad instincts of Trump and less incompetence. He is a dangerous guy. And yes, we are doing mercy bans today. If anybody wants to be banned for mercy, uh, just ask. The moderators can do it. Washington, D.C., because we need fighters like President Trump in this country. We need warriors like President Trump in this country. And with your help and with President Trump, we will save America. Our movement must stay true. Guys, to I got to tell you, I'm not saying any, I don't know what, I, I have no further meaning to this. 
the three blacks for Trump guys don't seem very into this and they almost seem to be looking for the exits. It's just a little strange. I don't know. Our nation is based on putting the American worker and the American family first. Finally, we must and we will take our movement and our message to every corner of our nation. America first means all of America. Our ideas, our conservative values, and the solutions we champion are the key to lifting all Americans up. <laughs> President Trump Man, did nuts, that huh? for this country. With the help of God, he will continue to do it every single day. Yeah. As a movement, our message must transcend party lines, socioeconomic lines, and cultural lines. Yatu Save. Oh One nation God. under God. Yatu Save? Oh, dear God. I'm not even sure that's legal. I promise you, winning elections, all of them. That's giga yikes. Happen because under. I, I, you guys know I'm a native Spanish speaker. I thought she was maybe speak, speaking a, some kind of uh, like aboriginal type language. Then I realized she's speaking Spanish. Florida! God bless Governor DeSantis and his wife, our DeSantis. beautiful first lady. God bless President Trump. First Lady Melania Trump and the whole family, our military. Did you our, say farts lady? Our police officers hell? and first responders, we stand with you. And most <laughs> importantly, stand and love this country and this flag and what she stands for. God bless America and please welcome the son of the former president oh, of the no. United States. 